Capillary blood sampling is a safe and effective procedure for collecting blood from neonates. It can be used for blood sugar, blood gas, hematocrit, sepsis screen, bilirubin estimation and blood chemistry. The maximum number of skin punctures permissible from a single heel is 2 per single collection. The equipment required includes cleaning solution that is spirit or isopropyl alcohol and betadine, one sterile 2 into 2 gauze, lancet and capillary tubes for individual test, sterile gloves and helix spray. Perform hand hygiene before the procedure. Bundle the infant to decrease pain and physiological compromise. Don sterile gloves. Choose the site for skin puncture. Cleanse the site first with spirit, then betadine and then again with spirit. Perform the puncture in the most medial or the most lateral portion of the plantar surface as suggested in the video. Following the puncture, the first drop of blood should be wiped away with a gauze as it contains tissue fluids which may contaminate the specimen. Do not puncture through previous sites which may be infected or cause undue pain to the infant. Do not puncture over future weight-bearing area of the heel. Blood flow from the site will increase if the puncture site is held downward. Apply continuous gentle pressure to the surrounding tissue. Strong repetitive pressure should be avoided as it may cause hemolysis and increase the amount of tissue fluid in the specimen. Collect the blood in three capillary tubes. Block one end of the capillary with clay. Stop the bleeding by holding a gauze pad against the puncture site and apply helix to disinfect and seal the puncture site. Label each tube appropriately and send appropriate forms as required by the lab. The amount of blood drawn, number of attempts made and the sites used as well as any problem encountered. Important points to be noted. Do not use betadine if you are doing blood sugar estimation. Thank you.